Hey folks, it's me, Michael Bach, and this is Monday Morning Musings. Hey folks, before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that some of what I'm about to talk about in this morning's Monday Morning Musing might be a little triggering for some. So just be forewarned. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope this finds you well, safe, and healthy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please do remember to subscribe by clicking on the link, which is somewhere around me, to find out whenever I post a video, which is almost every Monday, except when I forget, do it on a Tuesday. Sometimes I take a vacation. I'm pretty consistent. I wanted to talk about something this morning that's not new. It's been in the news for weeks and months, and that is this call to uh, eliminate some of the, I don't know, sort of the, the indicators of, of history. Things like statues of Johnny McDonald and uh, street names, university names. And this, this came up recently because the city of Toronto uh, last week, they uh, voted um, to rename Dundas Street and all of its all of the sundry properties that have the name Dundas in them, things like Dundas Square, Young Dundas Square, rather. Uh, and it was a vote of uh, 17 to 7. Seven people, seven city councillors actually said we shouldn't do this. And I just want to read out their names because I think it's important that we immensely shame them for this. Gary Crawford, Michael Ford, Mark Grimes, Stephen Holyday, Denzel and Wong, Francis Nunziata, and James Pasternak. Um, that these people would vote against renaming the city tells me that this message that I'm about to deliver is more important than ever. There's a lot of debate about topics like this, like we're rewriting history and we're erasing people who did some good things. And whether it's street names or Ryerson University, Sir John, statues of Johnny McDonald, partly that's a bit true. We're not actually, we, we are rewriting history, but we're correcting history. Because when I grew up, there was no mention of residential schools or the treatment of indigenous peoples in my Canadian history class. And this is stuff we need to teach our children. But I wanted to draw an analogy to why this is so important, okay? So let's say that there is a person, a hypothetical person, okay? A hypothetical person, let's for sake of argument call him Bill Cosby, okay? Totally made up name. And let's say for sake of argument that this Bill Cosby, a hypothetical person, sexually assaults a woman in your life, be it your spouse, your sister, your mother, grandmother, your daughter, your niece, a friend, and everyone knows it happened. But throughout the process, he gets away with it. And then let's say, for sake of argument, that Mr. Cosby, hypothetically, is a celebrity. And we start to name schools after him and streets, and we put up statues celebrating Bill Cosby. And how do you feel? How do you feel when you see that statue? How do you feel when you see that reminder of the man who violated the person in your life that you love? Well, that's what's going on with indigenous people. Because in every square inch of this country, there is a statue of John A. MacDonald. And John A. MacDonald was one of the architects of the residential school system. Ryerson University is named after a man that was responsible for residential schools. 
Dundas Street is named after a guy who never set foot on these lands, a British parliamentarian. Yet somehow his name is smeared across this country. He also um, worked really hard to make sure that we could keep up the, uh, uh, the slave trade. Great guy. We're not trying to erase anything. We're trying to make sure that the history books reflect accurately what happened. And we're also trying to make sure that there aren't constant symbols of racism staring us in the face. So yes, I do think we should rename Dundas and the dozens of other streets in the country. And heck, there's a town of Dundas. And yes, I do think it should be renamed. I recognize that the majority of people don't get this. And that you think, oh, well, this Dundas Street has nothing to do with racism, but it is a constant reminder for people who at one time in their history were viewed as property. It is a constant reminder of racism. And if there was a street named Bill Cosby, how quickly do you think we'd rename it? How quickly do you think the outrage would have occurred pretty quickly. But because we're talking about indigenous people, because we have this built in systemic racism in our society related to this country's first peoples, we object. So shame on those seven counselors who voted against doing this, shame on them. we have an obligation, we have an opportunity to fix something, to right a wrong. We can't go back in time, but at least we can make sure that the future looks brighter. And I think we should. That's it for me. Thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it. Do remember to subscribe and like the video and share it on your social media platform so everyone can hear me rant about this particular topic. And also connect with me on social media if you haven't already done so. I am at the Michael Bach on all of the social media platforms, at least the ones I'm a member of. And if you haven't already done so, grab a copy of my book, Birds of All Feathers, Doing Diversity and Inclusion Right, available wherever you buy books, as long as they're selling mine, which they really should be. Or you can go to michaelbach.com and click on the books to find out where you can get yours. Last but not least, my new book, Alphabet Soup, The Quintessential Guide to LGBTQ2 Plus Inclusion, will be available March 29th. But before then, we have a fantastic crowdfunding campaign going on where we're giving away lots of swag. It's going on for another few weeks, so check it out. You can go to alphabetsoup.lgbt to find out more about that. That's it. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next week for another episode of Monday Morning Musings.